Julia Spencer is a real estate investor with over 25 years experience who owns multiple investment properties. She's a single mother of two who moved to the U.S. in 1993 with only $20 in her pocket. She currently holds an MBA. Julia Spencer is neither a realtor nor an attorney, and the contents of this recording are only her opinions. Get her free guide to investing at juliamspencer.com. I'm your host, Dr. Steve G. Jones, multimillionaire and hypnotherapist. My website is stevegjones.com. Module 2, How to Read Property Cards Online. So, okay, so here are some of the things that you find on this property summary. This, this looks good because they have a picture. I always, I always like the property cards that have pictures because that helps me not to have to drive there. Especially when you look at tax lien foreclosures, sometimes you can get such a dump and you look at it and it's like, I'm not even going to waste my time even driving there. Um, but this one looks like 3,200 square feet. Um, the, you have the land value and the building value and the total assessed value as 32. And I'm not sure why that is in thousands because it should be a little, a little bit more than that. But basically, the market, oh, it has the market value on there too. So that's good. Um, and they had two to six apartments over 62 years, two story, multifamily. Okay, so four apartments. Okay. Um, 109 years old. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, most of the homes in this area uh, are usually on the average 100 years or more. Wow, wow. Well, I mean, is this the kind of thing that you're trying to buy and then flip? Um, it would be similar. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it wouldn't. It wouldn't be a large unit like this. It wouldn't be a multi-family. It would be obviously a single family with uh, maybe two stories or, or one or two stories. Okay. So it looks like under exemption history, it says that they've applied for exemption for the last. Um, for every year since 2009, minus they have not applied for exemption 2004 or this year. Usually what that means is when somebody applies for exemption, it could be any exemption really, but the one that I usually think of is the homestead exemption, which just basically means you get money off your taxes because this is your primary residence. So whoever lived there in those years where they applied they were the owner occupant, so there weren't wasn't any tenants, which is kind of weird because there's a bunch of apartments there. So, for your free guide to real estate investing, visit juliamspencer.com.